Hello everybody, welcome back to a, another video, and today I'm going to be playing some Minecraft and ranting about random, random, random things. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a bit off, I just ate lunch, and let's just say did not agree with me. So yeah, um, for like, a little mental note, cheats are on, but... There's a reason because I'm recording it and it like clips every single time I get a, like a trophy or whatever. I don't want it to like mess up. I don't want to like record for like an hour and then all of a sudden be like, hey, by the way, since you got a trophy, we just deleted all of your footage. So I don't know. I don't know if that can happen, but I'm not willing to take the risk. So, yeah, as I was saying, what I'm going to do is be playing some Minecraft and just ranting about some random things. The good old days of commentary youtubers etc etc so i found an old uh note of mine that just had a bunch of random things to rant about why it was just chilling there i'll never know because i could have sworn i deleted it a while back but hey i'm not going to complain i got it now so um <clears throat> sorry up first is and i'm just going to say i'm going to give you my honest opinion and it's not, it's, it's going to be nothing, like, bad. There's not going to be, like, anything about, like, uh, no, no, no political things. I, I don't rant about political things because I don't know enough about them. But I will, I will make this video about an hour, maybe an hour, 30 minutes, so that I can get a few of these done. And I'll save some for later, a later date. But first up, um, let's see. I never thought Among Us was fun. Now, I know that's kind of a weird thing to start with, but just bear with me here. I genuinely have never played a game of Among Us and then was, like, happy. It was always boring, especially in, like, when it first started gaining popularity. Because, like, we all know what happened. Like, if... Jim, Jimmy wasn't the imposter, he would leave, which would leave like two people in the entire server, which honestly just made the entire game worse. And even like when it wasn't full of toxic people, it still was full of toxic people. Just because it was such an under, or I'm sorry, overrated game. Like, it's just chores. You're just doing chores. There's nothing interesting about it, in my opinion, at least. Um, all, all the memories I have of that game, even when playing it with my friend, were just ridiculously toxic. I don't remember a single time in that game where there wasn't at least one person that named himself, like, the N-word or something like that. There's always that one guy in the, in the lobby that thought, you know, saying the N-word or being racist was funny. Well unironically funny it's like oh guys I, I just said something racist laugh at me now uh no don't think i will um and like i said it was always had an, a lack uh, a lack of players it was never like it was never a good time it was usually like genuinely i couldn't stand it and it just wasn't fun to do I'm gonna turn off that music so I don't get copyrighted. I should have done that to begin with, but we're gonna do it now. So we're gonna do that now. Um, I'm just gonna hope and pray that my audio isn't being completely drowned out by the game. I want some game audio, but I also want a lot more. Um, whatever yeah human like my voice so yeah that's my opinion on that like i said i'm just going down the list because i thought this would be a fun little video and why not who cares but next up on the list is oh and real quick if anyone if you'd like to argue or whatever on this in the comments please make it respectful i'll try to respond to everybody well i will respond to everybody and I will say, um, keep it respectful, keep it, well, readable. Um, if you think it was a good game, that's your opinion. I'm not going to say your opinion's wrong. I'm not going to say your opinion's right. But, yeah, keep it respectful. Don't, don't be that guy in the comments that just thinks saying 
oh, you're wrong and I'm right is a good argument. If you're going to have an argument, please make it, you know, not just screw you, I'm right, trust me, bro. So, yeah. Next up on the list is... Ooh, that's a good one, actually. Yeah, so I, I wrote this list when I was... Uh, when I was like tired at like four o'clock at night a while back because I had nothing better to do you know sleeping it's for nerds but um so it was actually it's about ASMR I don't I don't get it I genuinely don't get it especially like I get some ASMR like you could maybe convince me that like the like talking or like the like ASMR is like, oh yeah, it's just like it's just like you're in like a fancy restaurant or whatever, like that, or maybe like the um, like rain or like ocean or stuff like that, like that. Okay, you could maybe convince me on that, because that's like, that's like nature. That's like that's that's a natural that's a natural thing, but when it comes down to stuff oh like slime asmr that's just nasty to me i can't stand it i genuinely can't stand it i will like if someone's watching slime asmr with the it just sounds like someone made popcorn and you're like a movie theater and they're just in your ear like it's disgusting it's so gross i don't know why everyone has like a who's like trying to oh it's so it's such a good it's such a good like it relaxes me no it doesn't i mean maybe it does i'm not in your body but like you could not look me dead in my eye and tell me that also i don't know why i'm picking all these pink flowers i just kind of am um you could not look me dead in my eye and tell me that the is relaxing to you it makes me want to like genuinely throw up i can't stand it it's so disgusting. It's so gross. I can't, I hate it, like, genuinely. But, like I said, I think it's just the fact that I don't like, like, the wet noises. I can't stand when people, like, don't swallow, like, after they drink something. Or, like, completely. Like, they'll, they'll just, like, have a sip of drinking while it's in their mouth. Hey, you, what's up, bro? Just stop. Like, when people chew with their mouth open, I can't stand it. Call me hypocrite, but I don't care. Um... I will say though the worst the worst like version would always be the what's it called um the ones that like i'd get like the appeal of like watching someone play with slime because everyone likes slime playing with it whatever no one likes to clean up after it it's kind of nasty it's not very fun like it's the same thing as like okay side tangent i don't think beaches are fun everyone knows you go to a beach for like maybe you don't like beach is not an all-day thing the pier is or like that side of the state or whatever you're in is an all-day thing the beach itself is like 45 minutes before you start like getting mildly uncomfortable because it's you know the beach and your everything is covered in sand now and ugh, I can't stand it. Um, but yeah, like I can't, that's, that's another little side tangent I could go on. I don't think, I don't think the ocean is worth it, honestly. People that go to the beach just to watch the ocean at that point, at that point, go to like I'd rather go to a, a lake, a river, a something, than go to the beach. Cause you you go to a lake or a river, you're getting you're getting like lots of different. You're getting like you could skip rocks, you could you could like go gold panning, whatever. When you're at the when you're at the beach, you got about an hour before you're like. I was gonna sit before you're wet and uncomfortable, but then like, at that point, you just go to the pool. And if you don't have access to a pool, then guess what? You ain't getting no water. Cause it's like glitter. Like it gets everywhere, instantly. The second you're on the beach, cause we all know the difference between soft sand and uh, wet sand. Soft sand 
is like kind of decent because you can kind of like shake it off your foot or whatever. But then it gets to the second it's wet, it like concretes itself to your foot, to your arm, to your leg, to your whatever. And I can't stand it. It's so, so, so annoying. Uh, it's not even like worth it. It's not even like, oh, you go to the mall and you're gonna be like tired the next day and you wasted some money. But like, that's an event. That's like, y you go to the mall for like four or five hours, you go to the food court, you walk around, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You go to the beach for like maybe, maybe, maybe an hour before you're just like, it's uncomfortable, I'm covered in sand, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I can't do, I'm not gonna be able to do anything else today because it's so hot. And it's just, in my opinion, that's not an enjoyable day for me. That's just the, why did I come out here? I don't wanna be here. I'd rather be, and like, not that I would, I, 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 I want to stay home for the rest of my life, but in some cases, yeah, I'd rather stay home. I'd rather just not be here. What the? I'd rather just like not be here because when it comes down to it, you cannot look me in my eye and seriously think that going to the beach is worth it. I don't, I genuinely don't think anyone can say that with a serious face. And not just like a personal thing. I just think that it's kind of like, we all know the first like 30 minutes at the beach. That's a blast. You still are full of energy. You're not covered in sand yet. Now, leaving the beach is the part where you start gotta, you start having to go like, this is not no longer worth it. Why did I do this? Etc. 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 That's when you start going. You start having the regrets. The I'm. It's never a regret. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rephrase that. It's never a regret. Like you're not gonna go and be like, oh, that's it. It's this is too much. I can't stand myself. Like it's never a regret. It's always just. You always just kind of go like. Was this really worth my time? That's 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 what I'm going for right now. No one's ever gonna say the words like, "I regret going to the beach," but we all think it. No, I'm never gonna think the words "I regret going to the pool." The pool is fun. I'm definitely more of a pool guy. In both game and water. Um, next up, let's see what I got up next. Let's see, what do I have up next? Come on, come on. Ooh. So, it's actually a really good one. A lot of these are gonna be based off of TikTok. Um, just because th this was made, the, all these were made for like individual TikToks that I just never ended up making, cause I'm lazy. And I'll start with this, this one's a really good one. TikTok trending music is either the best thing you'll ever hear or the worst thing you'll ever hear by a large margin. And it's not even close half the time. A lot of the times you just, you listen to this like song that you saw on TikTok and you just like look at yourself in deep regret. Like, why did I listen to this? This was not worth, this was a waste of my time. Or you were just like, this is a hidden gem. Holy crap. That was amazing, etc., etc., etc. But ooh, it's pretty sad. But that's not even where it ends. Um, people that get famous on TikTok, which is why I kind of left TikTok, because I started realizing, like, people that get famous off of like one video on TikTok lose everything very quickly. Like, if you get one 10k view video on YouTube, you can kind of like grab onto that and hang on to it for a while. If you get a 100K view video on TikTok, you'll lose, if you don't grab onto it fast enough, you'll lose all of that in a matter of like a day. It's crazy stuff. It's like genuinely crazy. And uh, obviously not for everyone. Some people are 
different stories, different people, different stories. But I've noticed like a lot of the people that have like the one like 2K, 3K view video don't realize it. They just think they got famous. And it's not that you didn't. It's just that oh crap, crap. It's just that you didn't. Um Oh cool. And Oh, I just lost track of what I was saying. Because I'm focusing. Um, diamonds, gold. Is there an, I need one more iron. And I don't know. It's just a weird kind of like... Growing up, I always wanted to be a YouTuber as Trimmer, but I also wanted to have like a different job. I wanted to, it to be more of a side hustle. And I've said this multiple times on this channel. This isn't a... This isn't a like job for me unless i get like unless i be pull a markiplier and then just get like all my videos are breaking like 300k views and i'm making like a million dollars a second then like i guess there's no point in me like having a job at that point but that's never gonna happen and i'm not thinking that's ever gonna happen because that'd be like the chances of that happening are like way too high for how dumb my luck is so i always just want I, I like having fun and i like being honest that's why the name of the channel is the uneditables that's how you say it by the way the uneditables because i don't like editing my videos and not like at one point yes if i get bigger i'll start editing my videos but i'm not gonna be those channels that like oh i'm i'm gonna regret saying that in the future blah 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 hey hey screw up screw off but it's more of a fact of i'm just not gonna edit out what i say this is the truth this is me if you don't like it leave the channel i don't care or don't or do leave the channel i'm also never gonna be one of those channels that like every other word they say or remember to like and subscribe like 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 subscribe subscribe no it makes me unsubscribe if anything i've always hated that and i strive not to say that like that's never gonna well obviously it probably has once or twice but if the only thing that's getting your channel uh views is just the fact that you're saying oh slime that you're saying oh slime that you're saying like hey subscribe to me subscribe to me subscribe to me subscribe to me then that's not bringing people back that's just getting you quick subscribers that's it like there's no interesting like anything behind that that's just getting you quick subscribers which gives you quick money which i guess is like that's fine but at the same time that doesn't feel genuine to me and i don't know why maybe it's just a personal thing but yeah on to the next one i'll do like two more and then i might record a second video today and then i'm probably gonna call it a day um do, do, do. oh sub versus dub anime that, that that's a really good one in the fact that i will find people arguing to like 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 screaming arguing like cutting their throat up arguing about like oh dub is better than subbed or subs better than dubbed it's the same thing it's the same thing and you're never gonna catch me you're never gonna catch me like being one of those guys that are like no subbed is better than dub blah 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 dubbed is better than sub blah 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 no it's the exact same thing it's the exact same thing and i get like animes from like the 90s or whatever had crappy dub but they also had crappy sub it was 90s anime everything was crappy there was a few good ones though um and yeah it's just i don't get how people can like genuinely argue with that and think they're in the right why is there so many zombies in this cave? Um, to me, it sounds the exact same. To you, it should too. Unless you're like picking apart the voice lines, like, oh, Aaron Yeager said blah, 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 and OVA 23756250. Then, yeah, I guess you could make an argument. But at that point, it's just nitpicking. And people who nitpick are 
well, I say that as I'm nitpicking, but I'm talking about more like, I'm, this is a video, like I'm, this is a video, this is what I'm doing. The premise of the video is nitpicking, so it'd be kind of weird if I was like, not nitpicking in the video about nitpick, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I do know where I'm going with this, but I don't know where I'm going with this. So, my, my main point just being, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter what you say or want to say, it's the same thing. Um, it's the same thing. You're never going to be able to argue me out on that. I've had multiple people like try to get mad at me because I watched uh, dubbed One Piece. And they're like, oh, well, sub One Piece is better. So you know what? I gave it a shot. I watched most of pre-time skip. And then most of post time skip, I'm currently on uh, sub not Sabayoti. Uh, the one with uh, the one with Do Flamingo, that one. And I just nothing's different. Not a single different thing about it. It's it sounds the exact same. I've never once gone, huh, that sounds slightly better. It sounds the exact same. And I'm tired of people trying to say that it doesn't, because it really does. And you're not interesting for making that your whole uh, point. Is that one's better than the other? It's just apples and oranges. And people that try to say blank is better than blank probably haven't even tried dub because there is there's a few examples of like sub being better than dubbed but they're very very few and far between and usually just because the uh dub is like crappy and they make get their point like, oh well blah 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 it's crappy blah blah, blah. no it's crappy just because it's crappy there's nothing interesting about that. It's crappy because it's crappy. Not because the dub is better or the sub is better. It's just crappy. And usually that comes off of low budget animes, isekais, etc, etc. That just are interesting to say the least. And yeah, I'm going to end the point here. Otherwise I'll rant about this for the rest of the video. Um, but yeah. So... Mm, let me think for a second on what else I could, could rant about. Ooh, 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 I got one. So, this might sound, this might be a little unpopular opinion, because it is an unpopular opinion, but I have no beef, like, at all, with people who, like, here, I'll, I'll use Gotcha Life as an example. Like, if that's what you like to do, why does everyone make it their heart and soul's goal to get you off of it? They act like it's like a gateway drug. It's just like a child. Same thing with like furries or stuff like that. If that's what you like to do, who cares? It's none of your business what I do with my own life. As long as like you're keeping it like tame and appropriate, who cares? I saw like whole like mini cults on like TikTok and all this type of stuff, like little mini cults, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't do this because it's bad. Yeah, but why is it bad? Why does, why are you so, so, so incredibly like, oh, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Why? There's no point to that. All you're doing is wasting your own time. If you don't like it, then don't watch it yourself. That's like if I just hated, and I mean like hated, all furries and all gotcha kids, but I made it my I made it my actual point to go seek them out to bully them. In your 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 ugh, in your own way you're watching more of their content. If I watch a video to hate on it, you're just giving them a view. If I wa if I just hated people that liked horses, okay. People that hate, I, I, if you like horses, I hate you with a passion, blah, blah, blah. I don't, that's just an example. But like, I hate you with a passion, blah, blah, blah. And I started looking up people that like rode horses 
to bully them or whatever. All, one, I'm giving you a view. Two, I'm looking, I'm looking up horses. Like, I'm now looking up the thing that I said I hated. Doesn't that, like, kind of come off as, like, wait a minute. That, that, something's wrong here. Like, I don't know. I never got that. That was that always kind of flew right over my head of like, oh, I I, I hate object A. Now I'm going to look up object A to hate on it. You're still looking it up. That baffles me that people think that that's like a good idea. Oh, I know that I hate object A, but instead of just saying, OK, I don't like object A, so I'm going to ignore it and not talk about it a lot. I'm going to look up object A. Dog. That's backwards as hell. I don't know. I'm going to go on to the next topic now. I said I'd only do two more, but I don't want this video to be like 20 seconds long. So I'll go to, I'll go for another like 10 or so minutes. Why not? Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Um, I'll do a few on video games real quick because why not? Are you going to stop me? That's what I thought. I'll do a few on video games real quick. And I'm going to start with a major, major, majorly unfunny one or unpopular uh, one. Well, I think that EA is a bad company. No, I'm just kidding. Um, games or shooting games or fighting games or whatever that have meta content, et cetera, et cetera. And not the company meta, like... Uh, Call of Duty, Call of, like newer Call of Duties have the uh, meta weapon, etc, etc, etc. And it's just, if you're not using meta weapon A, you're at a severe disadvantage and it usually changes weekly. So there's no point in like trying to use meta weapon A when it's just going to change the next week and people that are like trying to find meta weapon etc etc like i can't stand him i can't stand anything that gives you an unfair advantage in video games period because a lot of the times it's hidden behind a paywall so that's just i'm not gonna like not gonna go in depth on that i just i hate meta weapons meta anything meta items meta weapons meta armor meta whatever meta healing items if it changes more than once or twice a month, I can't stand it. I can't. I don't like them. I, I won't use them. In fact, I even got the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, right? Almost two years after it came out. And I just play it offline. Because it's not because still it's plagued with meta weapons, etc. I can't. I can't. I can't do that. I'm not going to even try to do that. I hate it pop next up on the chopping block because i don't actually know what i'm going to call this yet so i'm kind of confused Ooh, almost just unplugged my microphone that would have been very awkward uh unfinished games i can't stand unfinished games and i don't mean like people that tease a game that they haven't finished yet i mean like unfinished games getting released and then getting patch notes quote unquote I remember when games came out finished. You don't. You didn't have a game that you that you didn't finish yet that you were just like, okay, well, I mean, I'll just update it 150 times. That'll work. No, it won't. That's why. That's why games that do this are getting less and less people yearly, because they're getting tired of it. I can't stand it. Can't stand it. It's so stupid, like genuinely. It's one of the dumbest, like you're paying your, well, usually because they have a time limit of like a year or two years to make the game. And because of how complex games are getting, it's no longer the, I, I need 20 minutes to make a game. It's just, it is just wild in that sense. But if you look into it, games that are unfinished should not get released they should get a year maybe a month maybe even a, a lot of times it's funny because they will they will get delayed and then still release late 
or uh, still release unfinished. That kind of defeats the point, doesn't it? The whole point of getting the delay was to finish the game, and you released it a buggy mess. Like, I get every game is going to have their bugs. That's not something that you can fix with one thing. That's just every game has them. Who cares? But then you don't get to, like, release it early. You don't get... Updates are to fix the bugs that you didn't realize were there when you were making the game. When you're done with the game, as in. You don't get to release an unfinished... That'd be like if I released Tetris, but the only block that you could use was the square block. And slowly but surely, I would start adding more blocks, and more blocks, and more blocks. No, I just want all seven or so blocks to be available when I buy the game. And I'll stop on the tangent of uh, that just because that can go into a lot of side things like releasing the same game every year. <coughs> oh, sorry. I uh, uh, had a little coughing fit there. Um, and like the same game over and over again. <coughs> Sports games. <coughs> oh, again, I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry about that. And I will just stop that tangent right there. And next two I'm going to have to say are two of the, the same pot. Pay to win and then add to win. Pay to win is kind of... You can get away with pay to win on an indie game. Indie games don't make money. They, they never will, and they never have. So if you're doing pay-to-win on an indie game, especially when it's not that bad, like you can do pay-to-win, and then you can do, like, pay to just be better. Like, for example, Splitgate. I started playing Splitgate for the first time, like, um, two or three months ago, and I get I'm late to the party by about, like, two years, but it, it was fun. Want to know why? Because all of the like all of the have any bones ah it sucks all of the um what is it called yeah. uh like m micro purchases were just cosmetics things you could just ignore oh what's that you just don't want to use i don't know you just don't want to pay money but the game's still fun Exactly. You don't pay money, the game's still fun. Games like Call of Duty that you have to pay to uh, to get the the whatever, the new gun pack or the new skin pack, but it's but it like actually helps you in the game. That just gives people who use mommy's credit card an advantage over people who don't. It's it's very bad marketing strategy and the reason why video games such as Call of Duty are slowly dying off. Um, and then add to win, that's self-explanatory. I mean, ads itself are like r relatively new and, well, ads in video games are like relatively new and then just not, not good for the game. Um, <sighs> and when you're gonna really get down to it, into the meat of it, ads are like, were the thing that broke mobile gaming. No one games mobily anymore. No one will ever game mobily anymore. And it's kind of their fault. Well, one of the major faults of it are just that it's so much easier to game on a console now because of the fact that, well, they're so much easier to get. And a side effect of that is when something's easier to get, it's easier to, to use, etc., etc. Like, four, maybe five years ago, anyone that even had the thought of playing a video game in VR was either rich as hell or a game developer for VR. Now it's three hundred dollars on Amazon. That's about how much you're you're gonna pay for a nice phone, and that's just how that works, honestly. 
video games are becoming so much easier to access that it's not even a fun it's not even fun like to like try to game mobily anymore would it be mobily i don't know uh here let me check how long this video is i'll do about five more minutes keep it even uh let's do one one more uh two more why not so toxic games games that are servers that really grow really grow through uh, toxicity and just because of how like toxic they were at one point etc etc uh like call of duty grew because of how toxic it was uh stuff like that like anytime you hear someone say anything about oh modern warfare 2 it's oh they used to say blank 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 you wouldn't say a modern warfare 2 lobby etc 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 yeah because we've grown as human beings or not really that was like four years ago but no one's gonna look at a modern warfare 2 lobby and go oh that was fun no everyone was uncomfortable because drunk jim in the background said the n-word 17 times and thought he was funny it's really not that hard and when you really get down to it it's just it's not an okay way to play this is why i pretty much only play single player games nowadays because it's just not worth it's just not worth trying to find a game that isn't toxic anymore and to be honest with y'all it's no longer fun it's gonna sound really really bad it's no longer fun to be toxic anymore like it used to be like oh i'm trolling you on bo2 or i'm trolling you on bo3 or whatever oh don't worry everyone's laughing in the end ha 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 now it's just toxic because now there's so many things they can do they can steal your ip they can uh shut you off the internet for a solid amount of time what's the point of where did the fun part of it go like this used to be a fun thing people could do like obviously don't do it like don't do that don't be toxic uh spoiler warning being toxic isn't nice who would have thunk it but my point is why why would you be toxic in a game that doesn't reward tux like sea of thieves is an amazing example of just this game isn't fun but people keep uh, rust 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 is an amazing example of this game is toxic as hell like kill you before you even spawn type of crap but guess what guess what guess what that's right you're still gonna keep coming back because they've like darn near drugged you into staying in the game because if you don't come back blank will happen wasn't there a dude if i'm not wrong that stayed up for like like four days because they were like there were people at his base or something like it's a video game dog you're losing sleep over a damn game who's who like looks at um who looks at that and goes does he have a fishing rod? Sorry, they caught me off guard. I, did, I didn't know they could have fishing rods. Who looks at a game and then gets genuinely mad and then doesn't think to themselves, oh, wait, this is a video game and I'm being a moron? Like, I get mad sometimes at games, but I never do anything. Like, I'll leave the game. Who cares? That's not... That's not like that's not a genuine like whoa that's so crazy blah 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 blah. You leave the game. I the second I start losing sleep over a video game, I just uninstall it. I I'm not gonna start losing sleep over some dumb game. It's not it's not how I roll. It's not what I do. Now you want to get more technical. Um. To be oh do they actually chill with the flowers that's cool is is he bigger i remember they're being slightly smaller but not by much uh where was i oh uh, yes if you want to get technical it's not the fact that they are toxic that makes me mad it's just the fact that there's like it encourages toxicity think of I, i'm not gonna say that never mind i was gonna make a joke about twitter but i'm not gonna do that because i'll get banned 
I don't use Twitter, but I don't, I'm going to get banned from it anyway. Someone will make an account for me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to make one more point and then I'm probably going to log off. Um, because I, I'm trying not to have videos that are like an hour and a half long. Because I know how annoying videos of that size are to watch. And I know that they usually get skipped over entirely. So I'm just going to say... Uh, I might... No, nah, I'm just going to log off now. I'm going to keep a few points for later on. And I'm going to log off now. Uh, thank you all for joining in the video. There's a little rolling panda for the end there. Thank you for uh, hopping in the video. Appreciate you all for coming in. Have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your night. Happy Christmas. Mm. Happy Christmas. Merry Halloween. Happy Hanukkah. All those all those things. Happy Donut Day. Whatever day it is that you're watching this, I hope it's amazing and have a great, great, great rest of your year.